Hi, I'm Jill, and today I'm going to show you how to dry a few herbs. Drying herbs is so very easy, you know, and I love to order my herbs online if I don't have them on hand, but the cheapest way to have herbs is to grow them yourself and dry them for future use. You know, of course, it's great to use them fresh, but also to have plenty stored up to use during the winter. Um, I currently do not have my herb garden going yet. I am planting one this spring, designing it right now, but I have a good friend that has plenty of herbs um, growing, and she shares some of her extra with me, which I really appreciate. And um, She picked this a couple days ago, and so you can tell it's a little bit limp, which you want to dr start drying it as soon as possible before it gets limp. But this is wormwood. Um, wormwood is used to expel intestinal parasites and worms. Um, you cannot take wormwood, wormwood it's kind of a hard word to say, um, during pregnancy, but you can take it internally. Um, you can make a tincture from it, and it helps the liver and gallbladder but this is just a great herb like I said most people use it mainly for um, worms and parasites to help expel them and so this is wormwood and then um, here's lemon balm and you can just kind of crush the leaves and smell them it just smells so wonderful like lemon I just love the smell of lemon it's just so clean and and fresh smelling and lemon balm helps um, disorders it helps like digestive disorders it helps calm and soothe and um, you can take break the leaves off and put them in salads for a great lemon flavor you can put it over ice cream you know crush it up and put it over ice cream and, and just have a great lemon flavor um, just love the lemon balm and so here's that and then another herb that I have is the lavender and you can you know I just I keep crushing these herbs and just smelling them they just smell so wonderful and so I'm going to show you how to dry them. It's very easy to do. Um, you don't want to do a huge bunch of lavender at one time. Um, you, if you hang too many herbs together at one time, they can mold. And so you want to make sure you know that it's a relatively smaller bunch so that the, the air can circulate around it and help it dry. Um, and you know, of course, you can wash it and, and dry it, shake it off real good. And I'm going to dry these on our inside our mud porch. You want it, you don't want it to be a real, real humid place. You want it to have, like I said, good air circulation. I wouldn't do a basement, something that's real moist. It needs to be dry, hot air is what dry herb, dries herbs. Um, and all you simply do, I just have some twine that I bought at Walmart. Um, and, you know, just tie it. You want to tie it tight because as the herbs dry, they're going to shrink some and they could fall out so you want to make sure you tie it real tight and I just do another knot like that and then just kind of make a slip knot at the end just go like this make a slip knot Let's see if I can like that and then I have a little hanging thing to hang up on the mud porch so they can dry um, that's how easy it is and and here's the wormwood and um just take, you know, maybe this much. And like I said, I really recommend drying it immediately after it's picked so it's not quite this limp. But it'll still be okay. You just want to make sure it's not molded. If, um, like, you know, some of this lemon balm I'm going to have to toss out because it, if it gets dry like that, you do not want to use molded stuff. So, obviously. Um, and you have to make sure that your herbs are completely dry. And how you can tell is if they crunch whenever you break them up. And um, if they're not dry whenever you store them and they're not completely dry, they can mold and you don't want that. That's not good for your health. So um, tie this together. And of course, lavender is great to use for headaches, for tension, for insomnia. It helps relax. Um, and lemon balm, like I said, helps the digestion. And so... You can have your own herbal store on hand if you dry your own herbs. So, and so with the the lemon balm, I would do the same thing. And another great idea is after they're dried, you can sprinkle them, crush them up, and sprinkle them on your carpet before you vacuum, and have your whole house smelling like lemon or lavender. And um, there's lots of different things you can do with dried herbs. So. 
here's this and like I said I'm going to hang these in my mud porch about two weeks is how long it takes an herb to dry and um, once they're dry I'll invite you back to join me and I'll show you how to store dry herbs have a great day